you're all gonna subscribe. This is gonna have to be a quick Let's Transform video only because I'm short on time. I've been very busy today and I work a second shift now instead of first. So I won't be able to do another one until tomorrow. So this is the only way I'm gonna get this done is to have to do a transformation video on this guy who's never had a chance at the spotlight or the reviewing station and anything else that I do on this channel. That's sad because he's really awesome. Anyway, this is, just in case you can't read it over there, I'm not saying anything, I'm not judging anybody, but this is Kingdom Optimus Primal, our first Voyager in this line of really awesome Beast Wars slash Generation 1 Transformers to wrap up the War for Cybertron trilogy. Anyway, let's put him aside so we can take a look at his packaging real quickly. There's Gorilla Mode. There's his Robot Mode. Kingdom. Hasbro. Takara Tommy. The Missile Generations logo. Transformers down here. The Authentic Transformers logo. There's your poster. Onto the back. Your obligatory product shot right there of both modes. 22 steps and vice versa. Turn it to the bottom here, authentic Transformers logo. And if we go back to the back real quickly, there's our sad onion face. Looks very disturbed. And that's it for that packaging. Here's his trading card that he comes with. No, it's not. It's just a guess here. I've got so many of these sitting on my desk, I have no idea who came with what. But anyway, let's see the fate of Optimus Prime. Oh, he lived. And he's the leader of the Maximals. So we changed his fate in one video. Awesome. And here's the instructions. As you can see, Optimus Primal, we're good to go. Here's my phone over here, just in case you wanted to see that. I don't know why you would. I'm just expecting an important phone call very shortly, so it's got to be here. So I might have to do a jump cut in this video, which would, you know, suck. But hey, anything could happen. Like the fact my tripod tried to fall down on me. No, don't do that. Anyway, let's go to robot mode, because he's already in his monkey man mode. We'll take his swords off. We will rotate already his arms and rotate his wrists the right way. Like so. So the elbows are bending in the right direction, which I did not do right. Of course I wouldn't. There we go. And we can go ahead and flip up his uh, shoulder pads like so. Shoulder guards, whatever you want to call them. And then we can do that. We can do this by flipping out his robotic feet and making sure that they do ta uh, push out as far as they will till you hear them pop that's how you know they're locked into position rotate this entire section around and we're getting there make sure to tab in his knees to his lower legs so they don't look weird even though this kind of looks weird here look at this Ooh, actually that, that's pretty cool actually Kind of looks like uh, Optimus Primal trying out for football just because of the aesthetic going on here. Anyway, let's get back to this. We're going to flip this around and then we're going to tab it in up in here like so. And then we got to open up this entire section here and pull it back. So what we can do now is rotate Optimus Primal's monkey head to the back and pull out the... Uh, TMNT mutation figures and uh, rotate it but before we put it all back in we want his cannons coming out so we'll just just get in here and grab this one and flip it out like so then we'll turn it this way so we can get pinky in there and flip this one out it makes it so much easier than having to go get something like a toothpick and prying them out we'll push this all the way back now I don't think it did. Hold up. Yeah, okay, it did. So what we can do now, finally, is flip out his chest piece. And then we can close this all back up. As it should. And adjust everything to your liking. And yes, he does have a huge gap. And there's nothing that can be done about that. But, you know, that's the way this figure's engineered. Again, not much you can do about it. Let's go ahead and give him his swords here, just to complete the look. Even close his fists to make it look like he's really gripping them. Like so and so, and there we go. There's 
Optimus Primal in his robot mode. And if you want to, you can actually get in here if you got strong fingers, which I don't. Mine are pretty bony, as you can tell clearly. And you can pull out his uh, wrist blasters, forearm blasters, whatever you want to call them, blasters. Try to get in there and pull it out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm attempting this, but uh, just going to. Man, those are tight. But anyway, there you go. They're not out all the way, but you get the idea. It's just something. Pretty neat. Alright, so anyway, back to monkey mode. Yes, gorilla mode. I know, I know. Stop calling him monkey. Everybody calls him the monkey. He's all about the monkey business. Anyway, let's flip this back. Grab this entire section, pull it back, flip his chest piece back around. Lift up his head, rotate it around. Grab the monkey head, rotate that around. Gorilla head, whatever. Then we'll take his cannons and we'll put them back in. Then we'll slide this back on the rail. Close this back up. There we go. We're getting somewhere. Then we can also bring these shoulder guards down like so. And uh, Right. Anyway, what we're going to do now is rotate this entire section around. And we pretty much got his uh, upper mode that he's supposed to have here via the instructions he's a triple changer but it's just a short little transformation that i'm just going to show off anyway if i could get the knees to cooperate which they're very tight and they like to take those pegs that actually go into his knee joints and it really uh man i don't know how to loosen those up but yeah there you go there's his uh warrior mode i guess you could call it where he's standing up it's cool um uh, yeah i did butcher it just a little bit you do actually keep this down here if you want via the instructions and there you go yeah so i don't know what it's really called i'm sure the instructions tell it but i am not interested i don't i don't want to know right now i just want to finish this off so anyway we're pretty much there i just gotta rotate his wrists here like so lift his head up like so and then basically all it is is just flipping up those and uh, readjusting this to the point where it's back like so back and to the left and um, you know for the life of me I can't tell what's going on here but I could have sworn that these these knee caps here hide in here a lot better I must be doing something wrong, but for the most part, I think I got him fine the way he is, you know. He's a robot in disguise, he's really trying here, but he turns into a beast former rather than a uh, car, plane, whatever. So it's a little more complicated to make it look very convincing, but other than that, we're good. So I'll just go ahead and uh, peg in his swords here, and we will call it a video. As soon as I can find, why can't I find it? Why, why is this giving me trouble here? There we go. And there you go. There's uh, Optimus Primal back in his gorilla form. The way that it's meant to be via the instructions, even if this is showing quite a bit. But, you know, I've got nothing else to say. I pretty much am going to call this one a successful video transformation. So, anyway, here's the package one more time as I am about to destroy it and move on to the next transformation video. So you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, feel free. Feel free to leave it down below in the comment section of this video. If you enjoyed this one, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to sub up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Don't forget to throw in the towel. And until next time, this is Redis Power signing off by saying fare thee well, so long, goodbye, and get out. I'll see you then.